Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, well, what are we up to today? Well, I thought I'd take a look at um, the toxicity that is the Ingham family comment section because, oh my goodness gracious me, I have not seen anything quite like that in a long, long time. Not since I covered the Sullivans that time. Right, so... <laughs> Before we get cracking though, I'd like to just say something, right? I came back yesterday. I said came back, looking now, I'm saying it myself now. I didn't come back, I didn't go anywhere. I noticed quite a few people commenting in my comments saying, Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> I wasn't aware I'd gone anywhere. In fact, I have been uploading every single day. So to me, I haven't gone anywhere. But thank you for your support. I just found it funny. <laughs> anyway, there's something else I'd like to point out. Now, some of you may know, and some of you may not know, that I currently have a TikTok thing going on over on the old TikTok over there, right? So, um, if you would like to follow me over on TikTok, please go and do that, right? It's the Raccoon X i think just search me up you'll find me i went live on tiktok last night i've done this quite a few times actually i went live on tiktok last night though for three and a half hours i know <laughs> would have been nice if anybody was there but <laughs> that was I'm joking. There were some people there, and thank you for those who participated. It was great. I'm going live again tonight on TikTok around about 7 o'clock-ish. So if you would like to um, have a little bit of fun, entertainment, you know, maybe find somebody else. But I'll be there anyway, you know, if you want to come and have a look, see what's going on. And um, without further ado, I think you want to go and <laughs> you want to listen to what I've got to say about these comments because the Ingham comment section was absolutely insane the other day, right? I covered one or two comments, but bloody hell, I've just been through them all. And my word, um, Chris, to his credit, hasn't been on a deleting spree yet, you know? So, you know, give him a little bit of credit for that. But, um, yeah, it was it was great. So one person said, NHS waiting lists are huge. You can't just rebook stuff at your convenience. You should have just attended the original appointment. So excellent comment. Well done, whoever that is. And then the regulars jumped on them, right? Nicola Jervis said, how could she attend when she wasn't in the country? Do you watch the vlogs? Well, Clearly you don't because we've been over this already. They weren't in the country when they were given the appointment. They could have just not left the country, right? That's an option. Just a little tip for you, Nicola. Next time, don't listen to everything that Sarah tells you because it's not always the truth, right? I know it's uh, something that we all have to learn every now and again. Um, then this ghost girl replied, I agree, they didn't need to be so rude about it, saying that certainly implies that they don't watch the vlogs. Well, most haters watch the vlogs more than the, you know, the, the, the fans. <laughs> it's just, it's weird, I know. <laughs> And then somebody replied, if it was that important, she would have made the appointment. They decided to travel, which is spot on. It was Sarah's decision and Chris's decision to go traveling. But Chris or Sarah replied, I'm pretty sure if you actually listened, we were not in the country. And yes, you can just rebook at your convenience. That's why they have the option to when you receive an appointment. Yes, but there's a limit to the amount of times you're allowed to rebook, I believe, right? Because if you keep doing it, they're not going to be too happy about it. And you could, you know, save them a little bit of time and money and things like that right by just attending the appointment as set out if you have a genuine reason for not attending obviously that's fine sort it out but if you keep doing it over and over and over again yes they're going to discharge you and send you back to your gp 
and that's what they did. Um, you, Sarah, think that you are above everybody else and deserve special treatment, but sadly for you, you don't. And then this person said, you have all year to travel. Health first, stupid excuse to cancel Jace's birthday. Um, I think they mean stupid excuse to cancel it on Jace's birthday. And then Ingham's replied, wrong. You don't have a clue what yearly commitments we have. We don't have a clue. You don't have a clue about the circumstances or commitments we already had invested in the Arctic trip that we just took. Something that was invested in long before we had any idea that the NHS had butchered my insides incorrectly. None of which I should have to be going through in the first place. Yeah, let's put all my pre-booked plans on hold and waste a ton of money so the NHS can try to fix what they messed up through their incompetence on their timescales. Oh, clinical and medical negligence is the issue here and I should not be... Ch I not I should not be having to chase the NHS or beg for them to accommodate me to fix it. Absolutely, Sarah, you should not have to chase them. You know, it's your inside. They've done something and you don't know what. So um, just just maybe just carry on doing what you're doing, you know, and, uh, and assume everything's fine. Maybe just continue having your little... Um, um, rendezvous with Chris Ingham. <laughs> See where that gets you. Up the duff, probably. <laughs> That's what you want anyway, isn't it? Or what Chris wants anyway. I, you know, some of this, I have to believe, is Chris's um, mind working, right? I mean, surely the two adults can't be this stupid, but there you go. And some supporter replied, well said, Sarah. Plus, you should not be having to explain yourselves to these trolls. If the consultant hadn't been negligent in the first place, you wouldn't be in the situation you are, ne you are in now. Have you threatened legal action regarding their negligence yet? I sincerely hope you have. Well, I hope so too, because if this isn't anything to do with negligence and Sarah's making a lot of serious claims and sending her wolves basically onto these um the NHS and the staff and things like that you know so I would hope that Sarah's taken this very seriously and not just come onto her channel to have a little bit of a whinge at uh, the poor NHS staff right and then somebody replied, I do believe just after Christmas you had an appointment for the 31st of January, but you said you wasn't going to wait that long, then decided to leave the country. So this person has got their head screwed on. Uh, 5th of January, the vlog mentions 31st of January appointment. So therefore proving that Sarah was in the country and not out of the country, right? That's a very important point because all the IFAM seem to think that um, Sarah is being very truthful. <laughs> and this this person uh, carried on and said, excuse me, you knew about the cyst since last year as you vlogged about it enough that's what i was on about come off your high horse and stop sounding so entitled and um yeah so very good points so far i feel um but then this i got right in there right he said oh please the healthcare systems all over the world are getting nonsensical and frustrating. Maybe we wouldn't need the doctor as often if you would stop stressing your patients out. Of course, of course, it is the doctors who are stressing the patients out causing these issues to happen and causing people to be ill. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that is in fact true. Now, it may well be that healthcare systems all over the world are struggling, right? And we have to give allowances for that because at the end of the day, 
each individual person are each individual person, right? When the NHS come together to provide services for a collective of people, they have to deal with a lot of people, whereas you only have to deal with yourself. So it, you know, they have a lot more on their plate than you have on your plate, if that makes sense. Everybody needs to come together to try and help out the health service rather than just slag them off all the time. I get they're not perfect, but you know, if you are doing what Sarah's doing and having an absolute go at the service and accusing them of negligence and butchering their insides, um, you know, it, it's kind of it's not nice, is it? Unless it's um, really seriously... And I mean, I haven't seen Sarah keel over with pain yet. I mean, she went down a fucking ski slope. Come on. And this Devia girl, who seems to be quite new and really in there now with the Inghams, she said, You should not have to explain yourself. And that's the other thing that annoys me. You shouldn't have to explain yourself. Yeah, maybe that has an element of truth but at the end of the day sarah is coming on to youtube and telling people about it because she wants people's opinions right that's why she's doing it for engagement and she wants people's opinions so if she doesn't want people to reply with their opinions then that's another matter and then another little live fan says I really don't understand why people are so rude to your family. Like, if they don't like your vlogs, then why comment or watch them instead of making you guys explain? I know, it's a hard life, isn't it? They shouldn't need to explain themselves, but sadly, they, they are, you know kind of slagging off a service which most people kind of are grateful for and is a life-saving service i mean you could obviously get the um no offense to the to americans u.s citizens obviously but over there the healthcare system is not free is it um we're quite fortunate to have a very free and and free health service so um yeah, uh, I. <laughs> this person says, I don't think it's fair with people being rude to you or anyone really, but I guess that's just life. Love your family and I wish I could see you in real life. Wow. Um, that to me is a bit concerning that somebody wants to meet um, the Inghams in real life because that you don't know them. Uh, I'm sorry, but you don't know who they are. The Inghams could be absolute twats of people. <laughs> I mean, there, I said it. They could be twats, couldn't they? <laughs> who knew? Who knew? Um, yeah, no, but seriously, they could not be nice people. And you see them through a screen and assume that they're nice people based on what I'm not quite sure. Uh, same way that we talk about them in a negative sense based on the 20 minutes that we see and we're not allowed to give bad feedback based on 20 minutes but you're allowed to give positive feedback based on 20 minutes it makes no sense to me whatsoever really really weird right and then this person said this channel is all about trolling now there isn't one vlog where they aren't being snarky and that's very true that actually got 45 thumbs up as of the, this moment which kind of goes to show just where the majority of the people are at the moment right um and then i fully agree with you sarah 100 percent take care lovely uh, this person replied to, to, to the iFam and said, Then why leave comments open if you can't stand the heat? Get out of the kitchen. <laughs> it's original. It's, it's original. <laughs> I can't. It's so, it's so good. It's so good. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Point stands, though. Right. Why <laughs> Nicola... Nic Nicola? comes back with why you here her son's birthday is important it that's a really annoying comeback 
point, though, isn't it? Because, yes, her son's birthday is clearly important, right? As is everybody's birthday and everybody's son's birthday and everybody's child's birthday, etc., etc., etc. But, unfortunately, sometimes these things clash with one's birthday and they're not to their credit, the NHS, they're not saying, right, you're going to have to miss your entire son's birthday, right? They've actually been very kind and said, you can come in at quarter to nine in the morning. That's a really early, early appointment. Leave the house, uh, I don't know, quarter past nine, no, quarter past eight or eight o'clock, something like that. Get there, go for your appointment, take 20 minutes, come back out and go home before Jace even wakes up, right? That's perfect. Now, if they'd said, right, we want you in for like midday, that kind of would have fucked the day up a little bit, right? It's a bit if and in between and whatnot, right? You could kind of get that. But for this, it doesn't actually interfere with the birthday. It's perfect timing in actual fact. And then Nicola replied again, she's not sure what the appointment was for, the cyst or the tube tying error. Okay, um, good point. And then, then, then uh, obviously I've been over this comment already, but um, they said, Chris said, I think it's Chris anyway, or if your life is that empty and meaningless that you have to spend your life trolling a family you can't stand, then fix it before you're dead. Why are you wasting your own life watching us when it brings you no joy? There's nothing more hilarious than the, all these clowns. All we do is spend our days laughing at wasters like you. We don't care about you, your dummy opinions. You are completely irrelevant. Stop wasting your own life in hatred. Your ancestors died to give you the opportunity to breathe on this planet. What a disappointment to your own bloodlines. So, I can't. <laughs> Chris is such a... Um, what's the opposite of a disappointment? You know, a... Um, He's done his ancestors proud. I'm sure of it. Absolutely sure of it. Oh, Cassie had to get involved. She didn't get too involved, to, to her credit. She must be on a bit of a break, but she did say, well said. Um, and then uh, this person replied to Nicola and said, maybe they need to stay home and stop going out of the country all the time. This is all her fault. She should have went to her appointment, which is absolutely true. There's nothing to suggest that Sarah and Chris should have swanned off for yet another holiday. It's not like they've not been on holiday, right? If you'd not been on holiday, it would have maybe been a little bit different. But this was like the hundredth holiday of their life it's something they do all the time right and then marie replied i see your true color shining through i would never wish anyone dead never so um yeah that comment got people's backs up i think and rightly so um and purple rock movers said do you watch the same or are you blind? Um, and Marie replied to Chris and said, Do you think yours would be proud of you? Referring to the ancestors and things like that. Um, and then this person said, He came home for the cunt. <laughs> I don't think that's what they meant. <laughs> that's what. That's how I read it, okay? He came for, home for the MOT. I think that was supposed to be said. But I prefer the other way. But absolutely spot on. He did come home for the MOT. Didn't come home for her appointment, though. So it's clear what's more important to, to them. It seems like it's more just um, a reason for them to... to to complain to moan you know an excuse for moaning i think that's what it is and i should know i'm the king moaner i moan about everything right so i know i can spot a moaner a mile away right and uh, this iphone replied no he did not he stayed on holiday with them all <laughs> i love that comment because 
No, no, he definitely did not come home for the MOT. Well, the evidence is there, right? The evidence is there, unless he had the MOT done um, overseas in Sweden, which obviously he, he didn't, right? So, yes, he did come home. And um, then this one replies, stop being rude to them. Why do people always say they're being rude? What? Stop being rude. You shouldn't be so rude all the time. <sighs> Just say it. Just say what you want to say. Stop being a twat to them, right? That's what you want to say. Stop being rude. How do you work that out? You can't stop them going on holiday. Stop with stupid comment. It was a stupid comment, wasn't that? And this one replied to Marie and said, they are only rattled because you delivered some home truths. And then this one, who I think is an actual iPhone, right? Um, I could be wrong, but I think so. Um, they, they probably said one of the best comments in the whole thread, right? And said, I'm so fed up with this channel. Everyone is so toxic and mean, even the iPhone. And that is spot on. Because if you look at all the comments that's in all these threads here, right? People are arguing backwards and forth. And not just the the anti-fam, right? The i-fam are, are jumping on everybody and hating on the, the haters. So, you know, <laughs> it makes for a very toxic atmosphere. And it means that i-fam themselves don't want to comment anymore because it's a horrible atmosphere nobody wants to comment in this sort of situation right and uh, then this person replied they are the worst have you seen their replies um and this one devia girl came back with uh, it's not your business it's not it, the thing with the it's not your business is why are they telling us then if it's not our business if it's not our business it's certainly not your business um and and they shouldn't be airing their their business out online then if they don't want people to know it just seems a bit <laughs> counterproductive in my opinion right and then somebody else replied to Chris and said, Jesus Christ, that's a low blow. And that's referring to the whole, you know, wishing you're dead sort of situation. Um, and um, this person said uh, to, to Nicola, do you know the world does not revolve around this family? And then this went on to say, you gurned for this appointment, putting out, put, putting out, others out while you knew you had year-long commitments make it make sense and that's a very good point actually they moaned and complained and went on and on and on and on about needing this appointment desperately but in the ingham's words they had year-long commitments so they knew that they had all these commitments and yet they complained about needing this appointment and yet they knew that they couldn't make any appointments because they had year-long commitments. But yet they do for clicks and views. Exactly. That's in reply to the it's not your business. Um, but yet they do for clicks and views, crying that she wants her appointment pushed forward, moving everyone else back. But yet says she can't make it because she has year-long commitments and Nicola replied of course the world doesn't revolve around them it doesn't revolve around anyone I'm not sure what gurned means <laughs> um, at the end of the day Sarah didn't attend the first appointment as she was thousands of miles away she wasn't there was she she was right at home in her living room as she told the world that she had this appointment but didn't want to wait for it so she did inform the hospital please remember the hospital make made the mistake so they should rectify it asap Right, okay, here's a, a little bit of life advice for you, Nicola. We only have what Sarah is telling us, so we don't know what actually is the truth. You're saying, please remember the hospital made mistake, right? 
they may well have done they may not have done right we only know what sarah's telling us so we don't know that for certain um we also know that they had an appointment at the end of february but there was no mention of that in the the latest vlog she failed to tell us what actually happened with that one not a professional youtuber says yes the hospital will surely rectify the mistake if their patient ever turns up for their appointment exactly <laughs> can't fix an absent patient to be honest so lucky these appointments are being offered so regularly i'm having to wait around eight months in between mine and i've heard that from a lot of people that they are waiting a long long time for their appointments and yet sarah is getting them like within a few weeks and you know people don't really get that option and yet sarah's turned them them down regularly <laughs> Then Nicola replied, she didn't not turn up. The family was thousands of miles away. The appointment would have got given to someone else. This proves folk are jumping in and commenting when they haven't actually watched the vlogs. Well, I have, and I've put together the timeline of events. Have you watched my vlog? That would be more helpful, right? So on to another well not another topic another thread somebody said it's common knowledge that if you cancel or not turn up to two appointments on the nhs you are discharged nicola replied obviously she's in every single thread she said not where i am it's not you may find it depends on the hospital and then it was replied the nhs has the same rule rules uh, wherever you are um, and then Nicola replied and said, Well, the hospital I attend lets you cancel appointments if you can't make it. If Sarah hadn't turned up, that's different. She informed them. Yep, they let you cancel them twice, um, not just indefinitely, I think is the thing. Um, this person replied, I got discharged and it wasn't my fault. Plus they give you the option to change the date twice, but it doesn't say on the letter. If you change the date, you'll be discharged. Did you not listen to the vlog? She didn't not turn up. She followed instructions to rebook. Whew. I know that's um, stressful, isn't it? Whew. Um... Chris or Sarah replied, listen to the exact wording that is spoken on this video. No one cares about your common knowledge. This is our clear and well explained scenario exactly as it happened, including the second appointment, which had the option to rebook. <sighs> I know it's hard, isn't it? But you also did miss out the, the third appointment, which you said you had, but you didn't you know didn't have or didn't go to you didn't say what happened to that i'd like to know about that one actually um this person replied nhs waiting lists are so long and so many people are in the same position as you are but you canceling appointments just to go on holiday is ridiculous and the fact that you can't take 20 minutes out of your out of your son's birthday proves how ungrateful you really are because at least they've given you an offer you've got 24 hours every day to see jace he'll have much more birthdays entitled much um devia um has replied and says stop watching them or stop commenting rude things nothing nice to say don't say anything that's an original comment I've not seen that one before. That's great. And um, you people find everything so damn rude nowadays. If you're this sensitive, maybe you should get off the internet because I just, I was just stating facts. And um, another one jumped in and said, you're not stating facts though, are you? You're just being rude for the fun of it. This family are entitled to go on holiday and entitled to spend their day celebrating their son's birthday if they choose to. Yes, waiting lists are long, but that's not because Sarah chose to rearrange her appointments. 
yes, they are entitled to go on holiday and they're entitled to go to celebrate their son's birthday. But that's a choice, right? You're misunderstanding that this is a choice they're making. They're entitled to do it, but they're choosing that over the appointment. So she can't then come on and complain that the NHS are not giving them given her her appointments because that's not what's happening here and then uh, what's happening now she had an appointment rearranged for the end of february but didn't mention that as she was too busy in the arctic walking up mountains wasn't she <laughs> absolutely and devia came back and said they are not ungrateful just because they took what they took 20 minutes out of their son's birthday at least it wasn't one hour well i don't didn't, don't know i don't understand that one sorry i didn't i can't even be bothered trying to 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 figure that one out devia replied to this one i know i don't and stop telling me to get off the internet it's not hard to just not comment on here as you're quite clearly proving by continuously replying. <laughs> and this, um, who I believe is an anti-fam, replied, Why would you gurn to get your appointment pushed forward knowing you had a year-long commitments? Yep. And then a completely different, completely different topic of conversation. But it still <laughs> just goes to show the toxicity of their comment section. This person said, the older girls should be told to clean up after themselves. They are old enough. And then Lindsay, who chimed in with, um, and how do you know that they don't? That's right, you don't. You only see 15 or 20 minutes from the whole day. Get your facts right before mouthing off. So I would put this one to you, Lindsay. How do you know that they do, right? How do you know that the girls do do their chores? But uh, you don't. That's right. Get your facts right before mouthing off. What the hell? Devia, who seems to be a, a regular on here now. She said, how do you know what the older girls do the rest of the day when they are not filming? Well, that is a good question. They're always on call for filming, though. All right. OK, don't forget that. They are always on call. They don't have time off. Right. They all are always ready for filming whenever Chris decides to switch on the camera. Um. Nicola obviously chimed in with, they normally do, remember, they are teens, and uh, Ingham's said, they are told every time, thank you. So there you go, the kids do help up. Oh, back to the appointments again. Um, if you are so hot and bothered about these appointments, these important appointments, why did you not attend them in the first place? And they replied, did you watch or listen to the video? Well, they did. And uh, we kind of disagree, right? I think we might need to agree to disagree in this situation. <laughs> but anyway, Nicola replied yet again, obviously. Um, they were on holiday thousands of miles away. We've debunked that already, right? We have millions of times. Um, and then, exactly, the Ingham family, some people moan for the sake of it. <laughs> and you're talking to Sarah, who does exactly that, right? Damned if you do, and damned if you don't. Wow. Um, nobody should treat anybody the way the lady on the phone treated you. Well, we only have Sarah's um, opinion on that, or her you know what she's told us we don't know basically is what i'm trying to say so you gurn to get your appointment pushed up in front of everybody else knowing you had year-long commitments yep they did why didn't you ask to speak to their superior if she spoke to you like that you're not usually backwards in coming forwards when it comes to complaining about anything else instead of complaining 
about on it about it on here and uh, Ingham's replied I'm pretty sure I explained this on the video but also to add this is my platform and if I want to complain on here about it too then that's my prerogative to do so so I'm confused <laughs> Sarah's never used the word like prerogative before <laughs> is that really Sarah or is it AI <laughs> anyway right um Whilst, yes, that is very, very true, Sarah does have the right to talk about whatever she wants on her own platform. She absolutely does. However, I would kind of say, should she be slagging off somebody else who can't defend themselves um, on her platform? Because, no, I don't feel like that she should do. Not to uh, 1.3 million or at least tens of thousands anyway and this person makes that exact point and says not really all i'm saying is instead of slating the receptionist on here where she can't defend herself and no one has heard the full conversation it would have been more proactive to ask to speak to her superior if she spoke out of turn and that is an exactly well put point right the person that she's slating off cannot defend herself and nobody's heard the full conversation so we don't know what was said we only know what sarah's told us and you've got loads of people in the comments saying oh well you shouldn't have been talked to like that nobody should talk to you like that and it was horrible the way you were talked to and yet yeah, nobody knows how how this person talked to sarah right um, exactly i'm surprised they didn't record it like they conveniently did the last time <laughs> uh, funny stuff funny and then mama donna remember one donna says yes really you're slating sarah if sarah feels that way it's up to her not you now <laughs> Uh, this person replies to Donna and says, 40 odd year old woman telling telling strangers you love them. Come on now. <laughs> Absolutely spot on. Spot on. Because Mama Donna has in fact done that. It was absolute classic. Um, just take a look at this. Hi to my fave ever family on YouTube. You deserve good things said about you. You have my support all the way. Heart emojis, hand heart emojis. My word, that is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Beautiful. That is the um, the woman that is um, defending her heroes. <laughs> anyway, back to the conversation. Um, this person says, How is Sarah not entitled to complain on her YouTube channel? I'm pretty sure she can say whatever she wishes to and i'm sure she won't lose any sleep over ignorant people deleting themselves off deleting themselves off her channel don't know why what why no don't know don't know and somebody here says you sound so entitled and then a legend has been has returned. An absolute legend has a legend of the Ingham family fan base, right? The iFam has returned. I heart Bratini. Hello, you've come back. I thought you'd left. If nobody knows who this is, this is an absolute legend, right? She has been here since the very beginning of the iFam, right? The very beginning. In fact, they met. She met Chris and Sarah, obviously. She met Chris and Sarah. Guess where they met each other? This is funny. This is funny. They met each other in Disney. That's right. She was a teen girl meeting up in Disney. What could go wrong? Am I right? Am I right? We met one of our hardcore iFam. I didn't even realise it was her until she said her name. But it's I Heart Patelli. And she's been commenting on our videos since we had about 50 subscribers or something. I don't know exactly how many, but she's a hardcore. So it was so lovely meeting. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? I thought you'd left them. Brilliant. Love it that um, I found return, you know. It's surprising, though, that you haven't kind of 
uh, gone off them by now or realised exactly what they're up to. Anyway, there you go. She said, so do you, but here we are, Sally. And um, Chris, is it Chris, has replied, you, you sound like a dummy. Uh, <laughs> don't know. Don't know. Um, and Sally replies, and you sound bitter. It's great entertainment this is, honestly. Um, then they replied to Sally and said, ha, 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 me bitter. Well, you are the one on my video when you clearly don't like us. So tell me who's the bitter one? This person replied, ha, I love your replies to these stupid comments. Do not think that they're inciting problems on their own channel. No, I think that might be more close to the truth. Um, and this person replied, just keep... Just keep commenting your nastiness, Sally. It helps the alg algorithm that then promotes the video, thus allowing the iPhone to monetize more. <laughs> oh, yes. Who wouldn't want to encourage the iPhone to monetize their kids more and, and um, promote child exploitation more? Who's the dummy now, Fiona? Wow. Oh, the real random lozzyness has returned. She hasn't been around for a while, has she? Bore off Karen. Oh, that's a mark of an absolute moron. Who people, <laughs> sorry if any of you say the word Karen, but it's like the most stupid um, comeback ever. And no surprise that uh, the IFAM and um, Chris and Sarah love to say the word Karen. Yeah, she didn't sound entitled. She was frustrated, just like anyone else would be if they were in that situation. And you sound like you didn't listen properly to the vlog. Oh, and over here in the UK, we are entitled to NHS treatment and Damn me, I've paid enough taxes over the years and still do. Even people on benefits are entitled to NHS treatment. Plus, patients are entitled to rebook twice. NHS are not entitled to be rude. Well, first of all, we don't know if they were rude or not because we only have Sarah Ingham's um, opinion and she has not been known to lie or anything like that, as you know. <laughs> But yes, we are entitled to NHS treatment, but we are not entitled to be at the top of the list, if you like, right? That, that's not our entitlement. We're entitled to free treatment and discounted treatment and stuff like that, but not just entitled to be the best of the best and the first of the first etc and then somebody had the audacity the audacity to say that their vlogs were boring the vlogs have gone so so boring oh dear then chris comes back with but you are still watching though so can't be that bad yeah he's got the got you there katrina fuck you know um she said watched two minutes and stopped Good comeback, good comeback. I loved watching the blogs. They are not boring. <laughs> I hate it when people say blog. I know it's a common um, autocorrect thing, right? But it just frustrates me, honestly. See you tonight at five, clown. <laughs> I doubt it very much. Yeah, exactly. Fucking tonight at five. There's no vlog tonight at five, idiot idiot i'm sorry chris but you must know that there was no vlog going up <laughs> oh dear me don't like watch tv they do watch tv or comment no clue i'm sorry i'm not even going to try and decipher it my brain is uh, is fried <laughs> enough as it is seriously and then, so what? So what? what can, so what? Jeez. I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, Marie commented again here saying your priority should have been to get yourself sorted before swanning off and uh, Chris replied uh, easy said for a fool who has no clue about what commitments we had already invested in that trip but of course yes I should put my life on hold and lose all loose 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 all my opportunities that were pre-booked so that the NHS can fix their negligence on their own time scale long <laughs> I think your health is more important than work commitments that's very true and very well put work commitments because that is what it is it's a work commitment I think this is Devia she shouldn't be thinking honestly at this stage I think they know what they are doing so mind your own business Fucking you mind your own business too seriously take your own advice please <gasps> And then this person replied and said, you can't be first on the list for everything. You either go off on holidays and prolong your appointments or you prioritize your health and then go on holiday. Absolutely spot on. I couldn't have said that better myself, right? I think you should mind your own business, but there you go. As I used to tell my children, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you'll find the unfollow button. Bloody hell. Telling people to unfollow them. Geez, I don't think Chris and Sarah will be too happy with that. Jesus. You think you're, you're helping, but you're not. And then um, somebody said, should have filmed it. Uh, <laughs> like the last imaginary call. And then... Chris or Sarah comes in. I would love to know how we faked a doctor's voice on the call then, which was clearly heard. Tummies everywhere. Well, I'm not going to say anything except for this, Chris. You're the one that promoted very heavily that you can very easily uh, do AI in your business, right? Um, you taught us all how to do it. And... Um, I'm just saying that that's a possibility, you know. You're the one that loves AI, and yet you could have it. I don't know. It's possible. I'm not saying that's what actually happened, but it is a possibility. Definitely. This comment absolutely cracked me up. It has absolutely nothing to do with anything that we're talking about. But they said, "Hi, where is the Alexa from, please?" So I'm, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. I don't know, right? I'm not an Alexa fan. I don't like Alexas, and I don't want people like in my room telling me what to do and stuff like that, right? But um, I'm, I'm thinking since Alexa is a is an Amazon product so I'm guessing I'm guessing here that um, Amazon could be a good bet there I think just uh, just my opinion maybe I am wrong now when we're talking about the iPhone being toxic as well as everybody else right this kind of thing goes to prove it just a random comment from this person who's really just appeared from nowhere right and said enjoyed the video heart 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 can't I can't wait till tomorrow's video and Chris and Sarah replied thank you so much lovely and they replied that's fine and then in capital letters my favorite youtuber now the reason they have commented this isn't just to say right you're my favorite youtuber it's basically to say look at all the haters I'm going to give you amazing love now, right? Because they are responding to the haters and that is um, is kind of a toxic type response, in my opinion, right? And then you've got all the other people saying, don't take notice of the negative Nancys, Sarah. They think they know it all. Horrible trolls sending hugs. Uh, don't even waste your time replying to these pathetic people and their comments if they don't like the way then they shouldn't watch it and you know it's just comment after comment um people responding to the trolls i've never seen so many trolls on here does everyone have the wrong panties on today or something <laughs> i can't i got it oh sorry um <laughs> People honestly don't listen. Also, if you don't like the Inghams, blooming, stop watching them. Far out, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I can't. I can't. The fuck? What's going on? What is going on? Honestly. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. And then, obviously, Cassie gets her word in. <laughs> Ignore the stupid people in the comments. Right, so there you go. That is pretty much it. What do you reckon, guys? I think... <laughs> Think that's absolutely hilarious what's going on that just goes to show the toxicity that exists within the ingham comment section right now and it's not a good look chris you might think that it's boosting your algorithms but it really isn't it's really putting people off and it's not just the haters it is the ifam as well the ones that are um coming to your defense coming to your rescue right it's not a good look on you, and yeah, you should block them all, in my opinion. I told this about the people who were um, causing trouble in the Sullivan's comments a while ago. I said exactly the same thing. They were running amok in their comments, and I said that they needed to block those people who were defending them, because it, it was inciting hate, right? And when people incite hate through defending you it actually better for you to block them rather than haters at this stage it's just my advice to you um i know you won't listen to me because you know you're the super duper youtuber who's been on on youtube a lot longer and has 1.3 million subs but you know i do know one or two things and that's my opinion anyway I think it's about time we wrap <laughs> wrap this up. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.